two stellar guards go head to head. How should these? approach this matter. People do not make this a game of one-on-one. -on -one. I know it can be tempting, but this is a team game. You always want to outscore your opponent individually. However, there's more to the matchup than that. Totally. The only point total that matters is the game score, the one we see up on the scoreboard. Remember, this is the WNBA, the best league in the world. So these two want these kinds of nights. A chance to face off with a fellow elite player. Now here's Wheeler. Pass to Vaniva. Five on the clock. Three pointer. Doesn't get it to drop four. And New York will come the other way. And here is Nurse. Now Zawi B. She's covered by Ogumake. Here's Laney. Yanescu has it. Side. Puts up a three, and it's Simone Augustus with the triple. Heads up by Agumake to find her teammate. She draws so much attention, it can lead to easy buckets for others. And guys, after being selected first overall in the 2014 WNBA draft, Shanae Ogumike had an explosive first season. She averaged over 15 points and 8 rebounds per game on her way to becoming an all-star and the league's rookie of the year. I think the coach has to be frustrated by their lack of production offensively. And I can't blame them. They're getting the looks, but the shots just aren't falling. And it's at the point where this slump is going to take a mental toll on them. It's a good timeout 
try to keep them from getting too discouraged. And they've got the looks, they've gotten open, but they just can't get them to fall. Now here's Wheeler. The shot's good. Have to respect the assertiveness from Wheeler. If she sees an open lane, she's looking to drive. Yanescu outside. Lays it up and makes it in. Way to work the ball in close to the hoop. There's Augustus. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. Outside Wheeler. And the ball out of play. The Liberty will have. That is such a careless pass. You gotta keep your head in the game. And the Liberty making a change here. Yes. And so it's New York with it. Yanescu outside. Laney, she's covered by Ogumake. Laney, good. The defenders didn't really even get a sniff of her on that move to the iron. Ogumake outside. Pass to Ogumake. The Diva. Here is Wheeler, and the Sparks getting another bucket right there. I love her confidence. We've seen it right from the opening tip. The Liberty Trail. And here's that would be. Laney. Out to the left wing. Three-pointer Sabrina Ionescu. No good there. Now the Sparks take it the other way. Well, offensively speaking, it has been a tough, tough quarter for her. Back to Wheeler. Ball stolen. Yanescu left side. And still a goose egg for her in the scoring call. Now the Sparks with it. Three-point lead. Pass to Agumake. Now Wheeler. The second chance effort. And that one's good. Ogumake. Well, she's always in the top five in offensive rebounding. Ogumake's effort brings second chance points for her team. Yanescu outside. And she banks in the layup. I mean, it has to be a defensive there. She's someone they need to put more attention on. Outside Wheeler, pass to Badiva. Back to Wheeler. Ogumake. Ogumake inside. Amanda Zawibi with a defensive effort. And they've been struggling here offensively. Bit of a dry spell for sure. Here's Ionescu. Here's Nurse. One up, one down. That took serious skill for Nurse to score when she's being, you know, hit like that. Tremendous. Last to Augustus. Here's Wheeler. Clock at six. Takes the three. Rebound New York. They haven't wasted any time getting into the swing of things on the boards. And even this early, that's a good omen for the rest of the game. Now here is Ionescu. Laney outside. Oh, and she misses the go-ahead basket. The Sparks with the lead. Pass to Agumake. Badiva. Outside Wheeler. So the whistle blows on a shot. Two free throws for the contact there. And guys, Erica Wheeler has to be one of my favorite stories in the entire WNBA. She went undrafted in the 2013 WNBA draft, but kept working on her game and eventually earned a tryout with the Dream in 2015. And 
And speaking of Wheeler going undrafted, Tim, just how hard can that be for a player? It can be a really kind of a, a tough dose of reality, Blake, because no player wants to go undrafted. But I think it put a big chip on her shoulder and motivated her to prove the lead wrong, prove all the GMs wrong. And I'd say she did, earning the last laugh when she became a WNBA All-Star in 2019. And already, we're seeing some players make a big leap from a year ago. Hey guys, what's the key to coming into a new season better than the last one? Well, I think it's important to add at least a few new moves to your offensive game every offseason. The WNBA is stacked with elite talent. So if you're not constantly adding to your game, you're going to get left in the dust. No doubt, Tim. And I also think conditioning is key because many players don't start the season in tip-top shape. But to me, if you really want to have the best season you can possibly have, you got to be ready to rock from day one. And a shot by Nurse, no good. Now the sparks with it. It's a five-point game. See Oliver attacking. Nice D from Kia Nurse. Now Clarendon. Soft touch off the glass. Some fancy ball skills right there. Since when does she take defenders off the dribble like that? Sykes outside. Pass to Tolliver. And there's the foul. It's on Nurse. That's foul number two. And that's two fouls for her very early in this ball game, which is frustrating. And she's probably going to have to spend some time on the bench before halftime. Uh. Now here is Sykes. She's tightly guarded. Got a hand on it. They recover it. To the middle. The Diva. Again, the miss by the Sparks. She's missed everything this quarter. Everything. Every shot. Every shot she's taken has been a miss. I mean, it's just been hard to watch. Now here's Jones. Pass to Zowie D. Clarendon. Six on the shot clock. Beyond the arc. Dreams it from beyond the arc. And it's a tie ball game. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass up. Here's Vadiva. Sykes outside. They set the pick. Now here's Tolliver. From the yard. The rebound by Zowie D. Now here's Clarendon. Five points in the game. Pass to Odom. Zowie D with it. Let's go with a three. Jones, no good. Stolen by Zawi B. Over Okumake. Zawi B shot us off. Oliver with the ball. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will take. Watches it. Good on the three point shot. An elite and efficient three point shooter. Tolliver can do damage from beyond the arc. And here's Clarendon. Here's Jones. Ogumake with the rebound. Here's Tolliver. Outside Williams. Ogumake covered by Zowie B. And it's Ogumake missing. The Liberty Trail. Good, she scores. That's her first basket after missing her first two attempts. One for three. Now Williams. And the foul on Williams. That's her first foul. Did it get there first and absorb the contact? Yeah, clearly no flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. Outside, fast as how we be. Come here, come here. 
by Jones. Here's Clarendon. Down to five on the shot clock. Sykes with the ball. Outside. Williams. Here's Vadiva. And two free throws coming up as she misses that one. Drawing whistle on a lot of contact there. First trip to the free throw line for her in this one. the second and the Liberty with possession here trailing by two pass to Laney Walker that's her second foul and the last thing she wants to do is pick up a third foul here because it's just way too early in the game for that Her first basket still in this one. Ionescu. Clock at four. This one for three. He doesn't go for it. And it's the Sparks the other way. That's the more rugged play from them inside. They have a decent edge in rebounds. And that hard work on the boards needs to continue. That could be what swings this game. And there's a foul. It'll be on Kia Nurse. That is her third foul so far. Look, that's the risk you run by staying out there as she picks up her third foul of the game. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. Give it up for her inside. Lately down, that's right. One of three first round picks who declared early in the 2020 draft. Megan Walker made incredible strides over her three years at Utah. Averaging just a five points per game as a freshman, Walker stepped up as a sophomore getting her 12 points per game. Her junior and final season, Walker exploded, scoring almost 20 points per game. Outside Williams, Badiva. 
Back to Williams. Goes back up. He and Ernst the rebound. She thought she had a clear path through the hoop, but it's a great work by the D to cut her off. Here's Laney. Oh. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. And for Walker, her final year was one to remember. Yeah, it was unfortunately cut short due to the tournament being canceled, but Walker still showed out. The 6'1 wing shot over 45% from three-point range, which was good enough for top 10 in the country. She was also great in catch and shoot opportunities. If you play at Connecticut, it comes with a lot of pressure. But Walker made the most of her pressure-packed opportunities. Just not the quarter she would like to have when you talk about shooting the ball, but hopefully she can turn it around. Pass to Walker. And here's the ghost. The three. Oh, uh, McKay with the rebound. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Augustus. Now Williams. Over Nurse. That doesn't go either for a one only. and as we from outside, sinks the triple. That's not fair. And Ionescu has so much skill off the bounce and the ability to put the ball in the bucket. Outside, Williams. Makes it off the glass. That's her sixth shot this quarter. She's only managed to, to knock down one of them. Nurse with it. Williams there. Intercepted. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. On the wing, Raquana Williams. Six to shoot. To the wing on the left. And that one's good, Cooper. Well, you might be surprised by Williams' court vision, but she isn't. She knows she can make sharp passes offensively. Now here's Nurse. Pass to Laney. Walker. Now here is Ionescu. Here's Laney. And a great assist that time by Sabrina Ionescu as that one goes in. Great read by Ionescu at just about six feet. Sabrina is pretty tall for a one. She's able to see the whole court. Here's Vidiva. Pass to Williams. Vadiva for three. Rebounded by Kia Nurse. Down low, Lady. The Sparks grab the miss. Here's Cooper. Outside, Williams. Augustus outside. Cooper. And the ball out of play, the Liberty Now here's Yanesky. She has seven. from the top of the key. The shot that time, not on target. And the spark's the other way now. Pass to Cooper. Back to Wheeler. There's the three. Drains the three-pointer. That one felt a little personal, as Wheeler shows that she's got the range that you have to respect. Ginescu, right side. And there it is. She did so well to lead her teammate right to the ideal spot. That's the kind of playmaking coaches like to see. And now here's Wheeler. She's got nine. It's over Willoughby. The baseline, Jay off the mark. New York trailing here. Pass to Laney. Willoughby. And Laney, here we go. They now take the lead. The 
pick up that assist. That's a pair of teammates on the same page. Here's Wheeler. Okay, look, look, I know she isn't having the best of games from the floor, but it hasn't seemed to hurt them. She found the perfect spot behind the arc there, a big gap in the D. Inescu has it. She has seven. Inside. And she drops in the layup. Off the glass. Those defenders look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're just getting pushed around on the low block. Maybe Coach has got to make a substitution or something to energize his team. Well, they better rally soon. They give it up three straight buckets in the paint. Now, Yanescu. And here's Wheeler. Augustus, uncovered, again, a spark good for two. Yes. Nice to see Augustus rise up from there, proving just how effective she can be at times. And the Liberty call time here. Via screen. Now here's Clarendon. He's coming closely. Now we beat gets the bucket. And that's what they're hanging their hat on today, fellas. Hard nosed play on the low block. I love that. Me too. It's old fashioned. Reminds me of when we played. Old fashioned pound the rock basketball, and it's working well. Oliver, no good. Here's Clarendon. He has five. Pass to Zowie B. Oda. Zowie B with the screen. Clarendon with it. It's stolen by Ogumake. Outside Wheeler. Now here's Tolliver. So many WNBA players, so many greats and all-stars fell short of ever winning 
one championship. But Christy Tolliver has won multiple championships. And what's unique is that she won uh, those uh, multiple championships with different teams. In 2016, she helped lead the Sparks to glory. And in 2019, she climbed the mountain with the Mystics bringing Washington their first WNBA championship. Now here's Tolliver. He's over Willoughby. Tolliver, that's good. A fluid decision maker. Tolliver knows when to take what shots. And she's just effective at reading defensive coverages. Here's Zowie B. Pass to Willoughby. Block at six. Stolen. Now here's Tolliver. Outside Wheeler. Here's the Diva. A three from Christy Tolliver. Odom grabs the board. And we know about Tolliver's job success. But I believe her winning ways is extend beyond that, right? Absolutely, Blake. Don't forget about the championship she won in college back in 2006. Tolliver also plays overseas during WNBA off-seasons, and at one point she won four consecutive championships in Russia. Just goes to show you how locked in she is on the hardwood. Pass to Tolliver. Ogu McKay outside. Now Wheeler, and there's the foul. It's on Leisha Clarendon. That is her first foul of the game. So they lead by one. Huh. A three from Christy Tolliver. Nailed from three-point land. They've done a good job knocking down their long-range shots here in the second, shooting just over 40% from downtown for the game. Pass to Jones. off the right side of the rim. A real defensive lapse there. She's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. They're lucky she didn't punish them there. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Back to Tolliver. Five to shoot. And it's off from three-point range. Jones with it. Got a close game going on here. Sparks ahead. They're up by four. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports.
show of your skill set today. I know we've said it about a million times already, but I'll say it again. He's had a great half. Scored a lot of points. And in the end, I wouldn't be surprised if we're talking about what a great second half she had. She can usually keep it going for all four quarters. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard for the first two quarters. The three. The shot comes out. Hard to figure out why she didn't bury that one. I'm the defender near her. Just outside. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Good quickness, but great length can help nurse on drives. Allows her to get shots in areas that can't be swatted. Now Wheeler. Roll points for her. And a great assist by Simone Augustus as that one goes in. How many times do we see the possession like that with them today? Such a pretty pass. I don't have an exact number for you, but I can tell you it's... We've seen it a lot, okay, let's just say that. Strictly using assists as the measuring stick, they've been by far the better team. And now here's Wheeler. He's got 14. Augustus outside. Okay, outside. Offline with the three. The Liberty Trail. The NF2 left side. It's hauled in by Wheeler. It's Simone Augustus on the wing. Five points in the game. And so it's New York with it. They've only allowed two points so far in the second half. Here's Ionescu, sweet little floater. Little teardrop from Ionescu. You need this shot to excel in the WNBA as a point like Sabrina is. Now here is Agumake. Agumake outside. Here's the diva. Sparks, no good that time either. Ionescu outside. by Augustus. Erica Wheeler drives in. Comes up empty down low. Some great tight defense right there. Got right up on her and forced the miss. Just close enough to bother her on the shot, but disciplined enough to avoid too much contact. Now here's Ionescu. She's got nine. And she thumbs up with the boost. They're beginning to just fall apart defensively, especially on the interior. Yeah, they're crumbling like a cookie right now, and that's four straight field goals they've allowed from within touching distance of the rim. Here's Wheeler. He's got 14. And a Zowie B with a block. Blocked with authority by Zowie B. Coach has to love the way she makes her presence felt on defense. Pass to Agumake. Augustus outside. Four on the clock. On the wing, Neko Agumake. Let's it go from deep. Cans it from downtown. So effective from beyond the arc. Agumake relishes any chance she gets to pull the trigger. Takes the turnaround, Jay. Yanesco oh. can't get it to go. Sparks leading. Got about three and a half minutes into the third now. On the wing, Rikwana Williams. From the elbow. Good D by Sabrina Yanescu. And they could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Yeah, too many empty possessions. I mean, it's simple. They need points. Three Pia Nurse. Rebound by the Sparks. 
outside. The Diva. And the three off target. She hasn't made an impact from the field, but the team is getting it done. She owes a big time. Ginescu. Echo Bumike pulls it in. And it's the Sparks ball. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. And it comes off the front of the rim. Kind of short arm that shot. Nice job getting open. First outside. For three. Connects from three point range. It's a tie ball game. The deep shooting of Nurse is very good. She took a giant step forward in the second season of 2019. Part of why she made the All-Star team. Here's the Diva. Pass to Williams. Shoots from 14. And she hits the jump shot. Such a skilled shooter. I'd say the mid-range J has been in Williams' arsenal for a while. Now Zawi B. Now Stokes. And here's Yanescu. 11 points in the game. After 21 triple doubles in high school, Sabrina Yanescu topped that number and everyone in college history with an eye popping 26 triple doubles over four years. The 5'11 Super Guard more than doubled the second highest total in men's or women's college history. And now here's Nurse. She has seven. Not ignoring the middle part of the court. The more of these that Inescu hits, the more space you'll get to operate. Here's Augustus. Two point game. Pass to Okumake. Ronna Williams for three. That shot off the mark. So New York will take it the other way. And for Sabrina Ionescu, she had eight triple doubles during her senior year alone. And one of them was very special with Steph Curry and his daughter sitting courtside. Sabrina had a triple double close to her hometown of Walnut Creek in Northern California. A great moment for Ionescu, a big Warriors fan growing up who described Steph as a big brother. Guys, when you talk about Kia Nurse, you gotta talk about her immediate impact in the WNBA. In her rookie year, she played in all 34 games. In her second season, she started in all 34 games. In year two, she was the team's second leading scorer and also voted to be a starter in the All-Star game. Both shots good from the strike. And with everything Nurse has accomplished so far, where do you see her game going next? Well, she's already shown improvement as a scorer and a facilitator, and I think that will only continue. Her three-point shooting has also taken a big step, so her range might start to extend a bit further. I'd say she has a lot more all-star teams to make, guys. She's just scratching the surface of her potential. Owen by Zowie B. Over to the left wing. And the Liberty gets it back. That's the assertive approach coaches appreciate. Zawi B likes to challenge the defense. And this is our first free throw of the game. pick in the 2015 WNBA draft, Zawi B entered the league with all-star potential. And you know what? I think she's going to eventually reach that potential. There's no doubt in my mind. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. 
Here's Tolliver. Eight points for her. Outside Williams. That one, no good. And so it's New York with it. The lead is two. Outside Clarendon. Jones. Over Tolliver. New York, no good that time either. The shot was there for her. She had to take it. And I don't care if she didn't convert. She should take it again next time. Sykes. Okay, outside. Just five to shoot. And there's the three-second call. This one going to be on the defense. Throughout her career, Raquana Williams has struggled with injuries, but she seems to always come back even stronger. Outside Williams. Amanda Sawidi with the block. And she recovers it. Shoots over Jones. That doesn't go either for Raquana Williams. New York leading. Now here's Walker. Quiet so far offensively, searching for her first points of the game. You know, she shouldn't miss those, but, you know, it happened to the best of them. Now, here's Tolliver. Pass to Williams. Oh, the K up top. Again, a miss by the Spartans. Outside, Clarendon. Here's Zowie B. Walker with it. Just four to shoot to the paint. Echo Kumake with the block. Doesn't want to allow any easy buckets. Akumake is a no-nonsense defender. Outside Tolliver. Sykes. And that misses. That would have put them up. Pass to Clarendon. Back to Jones. Now Zawi B. It's hauled in by Williams. Now here's Tolliver. Sykes outside. Williams with it. Left wing. Tolliver for three. Here's Ogumake. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. One of the more energetic rebounders in the league, Okumake refuses to be outworked on the glass. Kick by Jones. Pass to Clarendon. Now we be with it. Shoots over Williams. What makes Zawi B special is her ability to operate all over the court, mid-range included. Sykes left side. The rebound by the Liberty. Clarendon with it. He's got seven. Pass to Jones. Back to Clarendon. And here is Odom. Shot. And the layup is up and in. 
and the coaching staff loves seeing this from sight, demonstrating the ability to create and pick the roll. Now here's Walker. And here is Oda. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Outside player. Now we do. And they force the shot clock violation. Great defense. You can tolerate gaps like that sometimes, but in a close game, they really hurt. Side Tolliver. Oh. Four on the clock, and so she draws the foul on the shot. That's on Asia Clarity. Well, you want to keep players like Tolliver away from the free throw line. She's one of the league's best shooters at the charity stripe. Shooting two. Is good. Third pick in the draft, WNBA All Star, WNBA champion. I mean, what hasn't Tolliver accomplished in this league? It's both good at the line. Here's Jones. We're at the end of the third quarter, and we've still got a close one. The Sparks on top. They lead by three. And we're coming back right after this break to get the fourth quarter started. It's time now to bring you our State Farm Assist of the Game. The winner today coming from an unlikely source. It's the sweetest dime of the day. What a plus it is to have a post player who can pass like this. Yeah, it's a huge boost to an offense. It adds a whole other set of options to our team. And thanks for joining us again as the fourth quarter of play is set to get rolling. It's been a close battle to this point. Now here's Clarendon. Lady outside. Pass to Nurse. Just five on the clock. Here's Clarendon. And that comes off the assist by Only advantages for Nurse. She's six feet so tall for a point. Allows her to get a clear view of the whole court. Wheeler with it. Defended by Nurse. And here's Cooper. Here's Sykes. And she can't enter back. Clear on line. And Jocelyn Willoughby on the wing. Off the mark there with the three. Swipe away. We played just over a minute here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Laney. Now Stokes to the wing, right side. Six on the shot clock. Nine foot shot. Clarendon, no good. Now here's Wheeler. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. Here's Ogumake. Nice D from Malaysia Clarendon. It's stolen by Ogumake. And she uses the glass on the layup. This team has been on the offensive glass here in the second half. Doing a great job. Outside. Pass to Clarendon. Now Stokes. Sparks the 
other way now. Wheeler with it. Pass to Cooper. Here's the Diva. Knocked away. A little over two and a half minutes have passed by now here in the fourth quarter. Now here's Clarendon. Laney outside. Clarendon with the screen. Pass to Nurse. Now Stokes. One is no good. Getting to the stripe is something they've been doing a lot of in the second half. And when you do it, it's such a good strategy when you're behind because not only do you get points, block stops as well. She's had an off game, but her team has been able to pick up the slack and get it done here today. Here's Nurse. And the layup's good off the glass. And that'll tie this game up. She's shaking off her cold shooting performance from the first half. Outside Wheeler. Right here, right here. Over Ionescu. Again, the miss by the spark. They could retake the lead after trailing for a while. It's such nice work to hang around and put themselves in this position. Here's Odom. Ionescu outside. And a foul called on Sabrina Ionescu. That's her first foul. Terrific defensive play. Cut her off, squared up, nice play. Yeah, and that's showing some toughness on defense. Getting physical, sticking her nose in there, and making a play. And here is Wheeler. So skilled offensively. Not only does Wheeler create for others, she creates for herself. Fast as how we be. And here's Ionescu. Shoots it. Shot off that time. Sparks leading. Wheeler with it. Covered by Ionescu. Here's Wheeler. Close one. Doesn't go that time. And the Liberty with possession here. Here in the fourth, they've only allowed just four points. First outside. Yanescu has it. Williams there. Yanescu misses. Augustus outside. the inside. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Liberty. Where is she going with that pass? I have no clue. That, that's awful. That's just giving it away. The Liberty Trail. Now here is Ionescu. First outside. Over Augustus. New York, no good that time either. Outside Wheeler. Banked in off the glass. And 
the touch Wheeler has inside is remarkable. For a smaller player, she looks confident attacking from them. the Sparks now. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Agumake. Here's Wheeler. Shot clock at five. It's a deflection. Well, look, we all know about Sue's height, but she also has good timing and good awareness, which is what helps her as a shot clock. Switching baskets must have really thrown her off because she can't get anything to fall this half. Careful drives in. Rejected by Benajo Lady. Oh, Gumake, that's good. Here's Ionescu. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, it's been a long time without a bucket. Focus. It's Kia Nurse on the wing. Shot clock at six. Trying to get back on track. And she sinks the lamp. What a dangerous player in the pick and roll. Nurse knows when to take it. That's the key. Knowing when to pass. Knowing when to shoot. Now here's Wheeler. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Lady. Fast break. Here we go. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Shanae Ogumake. That'll be her second foul of the game. The Sparks making a switch here. Outside. The kick out to Inescu. That's we need. Six to shoot. Here's Lady. Second shot opportunity. Hits it and gets half. That's a three-point play opportunity. Using her impressive reach to corral that rebound, you really have to work to box out Sue.
Sparks leading. Augustus with the ball. A rebound by Zowie Bean. A chance here to retake the lead. Showing that intensity in these last few minutes. Yanescu outside. Laney outside. Three on the clock. Over a blue pay. Laney's shot is off. That's a shot she's got to hit. You don't get too many better looks from that range. Outside Tolliver. The floater. And she takes it up and lays it in. With the get better every day mentality, Tolliver has become one of the most respected players. started her WNBA journey as a reserve, but that didn't last very long. She kept developing her game, then in year four, she became a full-time starter two. and became the league's most improved player. And she's only gotten better since then. That one's off. And speaking of Tolliver's growth as a player, Tim, what impresses you the most? Good question, Blake. I think her playmaking ability has definitely improved since her early days. Her scoring has also gotten better, and she's just added more moves to her arsenal. She hits the second from the line. Not an A-plus trip to the line, but she did get them the lead. Sparks take it the other way. Outside Tolliver. Okay, outside. Tolliver. Missed inside. And here's Yanescu. It's outside. And she lays it straight in. You see why Nurse operates way more than her average guard inside. It's not just her height, it's also the mentality. Her shot selection hasn't been great tonight. A lot of forced, contested shots all game. She'll be lucky if she just gets a talking to here instead of being taken out of the game. Now here's Tolliver. Pass 
to Vediva. Good. Yeah, and if you're open, Tolliver will find you. But it's not really a matter of if, but when. Here's Nurse. Oh. Here's Zowie B. Now here's Ionescu. Is it just me? Or does it feel like she's got every rebound in this game? No, it's not just you. And, and look, a 20 plus rebounding game isn't something you get to see very often. You can sit back.
is from the collective first overall in 2020. Sabrina's jersey on draft night, it's sold out online. Sabrina also featured on the fat pages of the New York newspapers. The whole basketball world fired up to see Sabrina Nescu here in the WNBA. And so the big win by New York in a really tight game. That was 